Lock terrain in track studio is where you're going to go to change the terrain in your track. Finger sculpt is kind of the default mode that you're going to use to do a lot of your terrain editing. You'll notice uh, you have a lot of uh, different brushes here. These are noise brushes. So here it's just a matter of placing your finger down and you'll start to sink the terrain in. So you can also do multiple fingers, do different points, and the game will track all those different things. When you're using the back touch panel, you'll notice that the, a cursor will appear on the screen. That's where your finger is in relation to the back touch. So you can see that white cursor right there. That's where I'm starting to create some mountains here. That's as simple as it is to create, uh, to start modifying your terrain. In the upper left, there's, a, there's two buttons here. The second button is your edit brush. What this does is it changes the size of what your finger will affect when it's touching the screen. And you can use gestures to modify this. So if I do the pinch and spread gesture, it'll, it'll create a wider brush. And you saw a preview there, but that's not actually gonna take place until your fingers start to, to change it. So here you see that it's creating a wider mound. And as I touch, it'll create those. So I put more finger space into it and I've just created a mountain. Let's go into the height brushes. I'm gonna choose one of these mountain brushes. I'm gonna go into edit brush. I'm gonna change the size. And I'm also gonna go into camera view too, just to, it's an easier way to control height. And just move my finger up the screen and you'll see that the preview is changing. Now I'm getting a, a, a mountain pretty much with one press. I can press X and that'll change the, that'll apply the effect. Um, or I can go back into Sculpt Terrain and just tap the screen. And now anywhere I touch, I can place a mount. Those are the two primary uh, categories you'll use to modify the terrain. And the other ones are strictly for beautification or, or theming. So each surface brush is uh, different depending on the theme you use. You can hit Edit Brush. I want it to be a wider brush so I can change, make more changes. I'm gonna pop that window out. Go back in here and anywhere I touch is now gonna change color. The last category is ground cover. This is how you place grass or flowers or any, any of the other uh, surface brushes that you, that you need to use. The other mode that we have here is uh, sculpt along track. This will fix the cursor to the track so now you're moving with the left analog stick or you can use the back touch to, to scoot along the track. You'll notice there's no mode selector to choose between edit brush and Sculpt brush is because you're permanently in the edit mode. So if I choose a flat brush here, I go into camera view too, because I want to control the height. I can raise that terrain up. And then when I press X, it'll stamp the, the terrain into place. So now I can just run down the track, holding down X and every dip in height or anytime it raises in height, the terrain will follow it. And the last thing in Mod Terrain is the terrain cleanup. If you're making a lot of terrain changes in places you might not see from a race, you can delete some of those things by just going over to the terrain that you want to modify and just dragging your finger around it and pressing either the race button or the triangle button. So use Mod Terrain to make, uh, make your track stand out, give it some beautification aspects that'll look really good while you're racing, but really just experiment with it and have fun.